Hello guys welcome to another Hidden Gem Movie Recap. Today we are gonna talk about a 1980 movie called The Blue Lagoon. So sit back, press the CC subtitles, and enjoy the video. During the Victorian era in the South Pacific, two young cousins named Richard and Emmeline Lestrange are sailing with Richard's father, Arthur, to San Francisco. Unfortunately, their ship catches fire, and amidst the chaos, the ship's cook, Patty Button, manages to gather the children in a lifeboat and row away from the wreckage. However, due to the dense smoke, heavy fog, and confusion, they become separated from their father, who escapes on a separate dinghy. After drifting at sea for a day or two, they finally reach the shores of a tropical island. Patty takes on the responsibility of caring for the children, teaching them survival skills such as finding food and building shelter. One day, he discovers a stone altar on the island, covered in blood and the remains of a human sacrifice. He warns the children to stay away, explaining that it's the law and that the boogeyman resides there. He also cautions them against eating scarlet berries, which Emmeline calls never wake up berries. Patty finds a barrel of alcohol from the sunken ship. They indulge in some party. However, Patty, intoxicated, takes the barrel and swims to a nearby island, leaving the children behind. The next morning, when Richard and Emmeline discover him dead from excessive drinking, Emmeline faints, and Richard carries her back to the island, where they find a new beach to settle on. Relying on each other and the island's resources, Richard and Emmeline mature into strong teenagers, spending their days diving for pearls and fish, gathering food, and maintaining their treehouse. On Christmas Day, Richard presents Emmeline with a pearl as a gift, and she kisses him, only to feel confused about her emotions afterward. Emmeline experiences her first stirrings of attraction while swimming and calls out to Richard, initially afraid. When he arrives and asks what's wrong, she angrily yells at him out of embarrassment and tells him to go away. Over time, Emmeline becomes attracted to Richard's muscles, and they grow closer, often playing, chasing, and tickling each other. One day, Emmeline ventures to the forbidden side of the island and discovers a stone idol resembling a moai. She prays before it and later tells Richard that she believes Patty was mistaken, and the boogeyman is actually God. However, Richard scolds her for disobeying the island's law. That night, Emmeline has a nightmare in which Richard drowns, causing her to wake up crying and desperately crying for him. She embraces and kisses him, but Richard desires more, which confuses Emmeline. She rejects him with her confused emotions. The next morning, Richard Willy Wonka's on the beach when Emmeline sees him. They talk about rescue and going to San Frisco to reunite with Richard's father. However, when a ship passes by the island for the first time in years, Emmeline chooses not to light the signal fire they had prepared. Richard confronts her in anger, but Emmeline insists that the island is now their home and they should stay, much to Richard's disbelief. They argue and hurt each other, with Emmeline revealing that she knows about Richard's Willy Wonka, leading to further conflict. Furious, Richard kicks her out of their shared living space, throwing her belongings onto the beach. Emmeline builds a makeshift hut near the water and steps on a venomous stonefish, leaving her ill. Richard discovers her in a critical condition and, desperate to save her, carries her to the stone altar, reciting prayers he vaguely remembers. Miraculously, Emmeline recovers, and they celebrate by going for a swim together in the lagoon. Afterwards, they sit naked, sharing fruit and sharing their first kiss. They lie down with each other, felt funny feeling in their stomachs and discovers passionate love. Emmeline soon becomes pregnant and eats a lot. Richard thinks she's just getting fatter. One night, Emmeline goes missing, and Richard ventures into the jungle to find her. He witnesses a native tribe performing a human sacrifice. Richard flees as the sacrificial act takes place and finds Emmeline, who is in labor. With Richard's help, Emmeline gives birth to a baby boy whom they name Patty. They bring the baby back to their home and attempt to nourish him. Emmeline discovers that the baby instinctively suckles at her breast. Richard vows to protect their new family, warning Emmeline that if any natives come looking for them, he will defend them with his spear. As the baby grows, they teach him to swim and play, enjoying moments of bliss as a unique family unit. One day, while playing in wet mud near the shore, they spot a ship approaching, the very ship Arthur, Richard's father, is on. However, Arthur doesn't recognize them. Patty points excitedly at the ship, but when Richard and Emmeline see it, they make a heartfelt decision to remain on the island. They have found a home and a sense of belonging. One morning, the family takes the rowboat to their original home site to gather supplies. Young Patty collects scarlet berries while Richard and Emmeline prepare to return to the boat. 
Unfortunately, the rising tide carries them away as Emmeline falls asleep. Richard begins to swim towards the boat, but a shark follows closely behind. In a daring move, Emmeline throws the last oar at the shark, giving Richard enough time to escape the water. However, without paddles, they drift aimlessly. They notice Patty consuming the scarlet berries he collected, and he falls into a deep slumber. They decided to face in together and eat the berries too. Later, a ship approaches their boat. Arthur discovers them all just asleep. If you like more of my videos please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more movie hidden gem recaps. Thank you.